So many people spend their weekends trying to eradicate the dandelions in their lawn or backyard. But since I've been foraging, I've come to love the dandelion. When the leaves are young, they're tender and not bitter, and the flowers are puffy and sweet. We tend to think that food has to come in a package. We think that a weed is an ugly plant that we have to get rid of. If you have ever picked a berry off a bush, then you have been foraging, you probably just didn't call it that. It doesn't involve a lot of money or time. In fact, it's as easy as stepping into your backyard. Um, I'm Eddie Leroux, I'm the chef de cuisine at Restaurant Daniel. People come here is to be totally blown away by the experience. For a chef, taking something from the wild that has not been powered by man and tampered by him, it's the most pristine of foods. I was eating dinner at restaurant Danielle and I brought in a plant from my meadow. They made it into some great dishes for dinner and afterwards I went back into the kitchen to thank the chefs. Eddie Leroux asked me what else I had in my meadow and I said I have a lot of stuff, what are you looking for? He said bring me everything. I found myself on the subway coating large garbage bags full of wild plants for the restaurant and that's how I became their forager. Everything she brought, I have no clue what it was. I never really experienced any of the ingredients before. We spent time debating, discussing when was peak, what parts were the best, and how to prepare it. We wanted recipes that any home cook could make. So my 15-year-old daughter tested all of the recipes and we got all of the ingredients in our local supermarket. We came up with over 70 plants that are easy to find across the country. My idea of foraging is not about walking six miles to find the last morale in the woods, but finding something easily that tastes good.